we are in the holiday season and it's one of my favorite times of year. I love the extra family time. I love the special traditions. I love that there's a little more love and kindness in the air and I love the food. So in preparation for Christmas, I wanted to try out some Mexican dishes that I have learned from last year and this year from my experience that are really, really common for the holidays. Um, please comment below with some dishes, whether it's main dish or side dish, that is a must have at your Christmas table, especially if you have any roots from here in Mexico. I would love to learn a little bit more about the, the traditional food. So from my understanding, the most common meat to have for Christmas is actually a turkey, which is very similar to the United States. And then some people prefer to switch out the turkey for maybe like a ham or some other kind of pork dish. So um, pork meat. Let me know if that's, if that's really the case. So that's usually I think the main dish. And then for some side dishes, espaguetis with white sauce and ensalada de manzana and you always drink ponche as well as just recently I heard that you people often use chipotle chili chili chilies and they stuff them with I think just cheese and they fry them or batter them and fry them and so I haven't heard of that other than just recently some other friends have told me a lot of families also traditionally eat tamales and pozole, which I have had a chance to make those. And if you haven't seen the recipe, check out the link above for my videos to teach you how to make pozole rojo and tamales. So today I decided to try one of the side dishes to practice for a, our Christmas table. And that is ensalada de manzana, which is an apple salad and when people talk about the menu for any kind of class, school class Christmas party, or our church Christmas party, or any family gather gatherings, everybody is sure to say it's one of their first items, at least here in Puebla, their ensalada de manzana. So here's my attempt at making a Christmas apple salad. We're interrupting Justin. He's been editing. Stancy, tell me about this salad. What do you think so of it? Good. What did you say earlier? What is it? The bomb what? Bomb dang ring a dang. <laughs> bomb ding ding a dong. Bomb ding ding a ding a ding. Okay, Bobby. What is it? Can you tell me? Pie de manzana. Pie de manzana. Come on, just give us some pie. 
than a Navidad. I'm not pie. Ensalada de manzana. <laughs> it's good. Ensalada de manzana. And these are carrots with it? So this is apple, carrot, and nuts. And piña. This is so good. Or piña. Ah, uh, yeah. What's the sauce? Sugar? Yep. It's mm. crema. Crema. Crema of cake. It is really good. To put in. Super good, huh? I know. I'm gonna have my I have to one. say I'm biased, but I think it's the best one I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is the secret ingredient, Poppy? What do you think makes this? Oh, my wife, Mika. No. <laughs> no, that's not what you wanted? I thought you were fishing Constance, for a compliment. What do you think is the secret ingredient in there? What's the thing that makes it the best? Crema, yeah? I think le lechera, is that what it's called, the brand? Oh, lechera, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet condensed sweet milk. Sweet condensed milk, exactly. Mm. Isn't that the thing? I know. If you've made this salad but never with sweet condensed milk, add it this time. Because I've seen recipes mm. without it, but mm-mm.